The other day a friend of mine uh, brought over a device that he had purchased. It was a $35 um, uh, Vortex device, very similar to what I'm showing you here, except it had pin magnets that went inside of it. And it was a very, very powerful device. As a matter of fact, it was too powerful because I had, uh, we brought it over and spun up some water and I had two big glasses of water with it. And then afterwards he said, oh, oh, I should have told you that you're only supposed to have four ounces in the morning and four ounces at night. And I thought, ah, no big deal. But <laughs> for the next two days, I was feeling pretty rough detoxing because it was powerful. Well, I wanted to see if I could replicate it for less, which is one of the things I love to do, take expensive devices and make them more affordable. So I ordered online uh, these tornado tubes, and these are $5 each at Amazon. And what these are, that's that little yellow plastic thing you see in the middle there. It connects two jugs together and has a small hole in the middle so a vortex can appear on it. And at first I, I took uh, magnets from Home Depot. These are about a dollar each. These are domino magnets. And I put the north all in so it was all pushing in with the north and spun it up. And it did quite well. Uh, I was really surprised with it. Then I was reading online, people were recommending different um, different arrangements of magnets. And I don't think there's anything really sacred of, as far as the right way to do it. But I did find that for me, the most uh, effective way I found was to have the north pushing in, the north pushing in, and the south pushing in, and the south pushing in this way. And that's what I have here in this red red one. And let me um, spin it here. Let's get this going here. And it's best to fill these about two-thirds of the way with water so you have some room at the top to get the, to get the thing to swirl. But what happens is as the vortex goes down into these magnetic fields, it breaks the molecule, the uh, clusters of water, it breaks them down to a smaller size so they can actually penetrate deeper into the body. And I did find that when I was using this water to wash out dishes and stuff, it did seem to have a, like it was softer, and it also has a smoother taste to it. So it does a, definitely appear to be doing what it's supposed to be doing. And then people were asking about the right way to spin these, and I saw one person was recommending that you spin it four times uh alternating between clockwise and counterclockwise and this is what I've been doing. I think this is a very good good way of doing it. Of course, if you make the uh, stuff too strong where you start to detox from it, you might want to either drink less or spin it less. Well let's spin it up some more here. There we go. And it is quite effective. I was able, I am able to test the uh, the quality of the water because it has a uh, semi-conductive property to it. And these coils, if you've seen my uh, Organite Alert, you'll see that I discovered that EMF is interfacing with coils and crystals, especially if the coils have a quarter inch spacing on them. Uh, EMF gets caught up in there and anions are thrown out one side and cations are thrown out the other. But the interesting thing about structured water like this is it creates like a semiconductive field or shield around it to where the EMF cannot interface with the coils. And this field actually goes out about four feet on this one. So that really gives me an indication as to how strong it is. Now, when you're putting these together, uh, I've had the north in and the south in, and you don't really need to know which is north and which is south on these. You just need to know that that they're the opposites. So you take your magnets and you stick them all together because they will line themselves up, you know, opposites attracting. And then you take them off one by one and you mark one side with an X, the other side with an O. So then you'd have the X's in here and the O's in there. Or if you want to actually find out which way is north or south on the magnets, these magnets are, the polarity comes off the faces of them. So you can actually take a, um, let me move this away here so I can show this. Take a magnet, hang it by a thread. And then if you just hold it up and move away from those other magnets, it will find the south end of this magnet, the south face of the magnet, will face the North Pole, which the North Pole, as you can see, is 
that way and so it, the south side of the magnet is facing that so I put an S on it so I know which way is south so I can do my polarity testing with them the other thing that was fascinating when I was wrapping these putting these in if you have the north all facing in they're all pushing apart evenly and it's easy to wrap them then but if you have like I have on this one or I have the north facing in and then the south facing in they push apart this way and they push apart that way but they're pulling together on these directions here which makes it really difficult to put them on because they're squirreling all over the place so what I had to do with it is I had to put one magnet on take my electrical tape make a complete lap put the next magnet on make a complete lap with the electrical tape then the next one a complete lap and then the next one with a complete lap and as they were they push the, part of them pushes away from each other but part of them also starts to pull toward you know, they they start to squirrel around trying to squeeze and and pull into each other and so I had to fight them away from each other they would try to squeeze together so what I did is the original was just a one lap and then I just went and covered the whole face of these with electrical tape helping to hold them into place but what I had to do is if they were starting to pull each other if they were starting to come together here when I ran, went around with the tape if I wanted to pull this thing back this way I would stretch the tape really tight here go over the face of it and make it loose here because the tension then of this tape here would pull that magnet back this way so I really had to fight these things to uh, get them to sit where they were supposed to sit. But there it is. So it's a tornado tube, five dollars, and then four dollars worth of magnets from Home Depot, and a couple of bottles, spring water, and a beautiful vortex going. And thank you for watching.